Hi everyone and welcome to Bailey's Academy Online. Today's video is all about machine cleanliness and general hygiene of your workstation. Making coffee is messy work and if you're not too careful things can get pretty out of hand very quickly with a lot of loose coffee grinds and spillages all over the place. Keeping your coffee station nice and clean makes for a pleasant work environment and is much more preferable than working at a dirty coffee machine. Keeping your coffee machine nice and clean is also especially important if it's in view of the customer. So today I'm going to be showing you how to keep everything clean as you go, how to take apart the group handles and clean those, as well as backflush the machine. So let's get started. When prepping your station at the start of the day, start by placing three different cloths around the station. One for the steam wand, one for the drip tray, and one for everything else. Using a colour-coded system will help prevent cross-contamination. To keep the cloths clean during the day, rinse them regularly with some hot water at a sink. If they're getting particularly grubby, just go ahead and replace them with fresh ones. And at the end of the day, to keep these things nice and clean and sterile, soak them in a sanitising solution, such as Milton sanitizer. A paintbrush is very handy to have as it helps keep your countertop nice and clean as well as your grinder. Use a big one for sweeping any loose coffee grounds off the countertop into the bin and use a smaller one for cleaning the inside of your dosing chute where there tends to be a gathering of very small coffee particles, vines and oils. When taking cups from the top of your coffee machine, be sure to only ever hold them by the handle and avoid touching the rim or putting your fingers inside the cups. This is a common error that people do all the time without even realising it. So make it easy to always hold them by the handles by placing the cups on top of the machine and pointing the handles directly towards you. Remember this as well whenever you're pouring latte art. Always hold the handle. To help keep your coffee tasting great during a busy day service, flush the group handles regularly with some hot water. This will help keep underneath the basket and the spikes nice and clean. This will also help reduce the amount of sticky oils and vines that will build up underneath the basket during the day, which means they'll be easier to clean at the end of the day. For a deeper clean, prepare a bucket with one litre of hot water and add one tablespoon of Caviza powder. Remove the baskets from the handles and soak them in the cleaning solution for 10 to 15 minutes. This will soften up any stubborn oils that are stuck to the inside of the handle and make them easy to wipe away. After they have been soaked for 10 to 15 minutes, wipe the oils away with a clean cloth or a sponge and rinse them well before replacing the basket and replacing the handle into the coffee machine ready for the next day. Clean the group seal by using the special brush. The group seal is a little rubber ring that runs around the inside of your group head. This is what stops any water leaking out the sides of the group handle while your shot is brewing. This space tends to get a little bit grubby during the day, so it's important to clean it daily. If a lot of coffee grinds get up into that space, it will stop that seal from fully forming. So it will lead to little bits of water dribbling out of the handle and into your cup while your shot is brewing, even though you have fully inserted the handle. Excessive coffee grinds can reduce the lifespan of your group seals by wearing them away due to the additional friction caused between the basket and the group head. Once you have cleaned your group seals, go ahead and grab your cleaning blank and add a small amount of Caviza powder. When using this cleaning product to backwash your machine, remember that a small bit goes a long way. If you use too much, it'll take you longer to fully rinse the product away and you may end up tainting your espresso. You're not going to poison anyone, but it's definitely not going to taste good. Once you've dosed the camisa into the blank, go ahead and insert the handle into the machine and begin the cleaning cycle. Each machine is going to be a little bit different, so please refer to your user manual for more specific instructions on how to begin the clean cycle. Once the clean cycle has finished, carefully remove the handle, dump out the old water and flush some fresh hot water through the group head using the free pour button. 
remembering to rinse the blank at the same time. Turn the free pour button off, reinsert the handle this time with no powder and start the cleaning cycle once more and this is for the rinse. This will help take any last trace of that cleaning product away and therefore keeping your coffee Kavisa free. After you've back flushed each group head, go ahead and take out the shower screen. Rinse this with some hot water and give it a wipe before replacing and this will remove any residual oils that are left over after the back flush. Whenever you're taking the shower screen out, if it's held in by a screw, do not lose that screw. Don't forget to remove the drip tray for cleaning and the waste tray underneath. A lot of coffee grind can get deposited in that waste tray, so just scoop all that out using some paper towel and rinse it well with fresh hot water. Sanitize all the touchable surfaces on your coffee machine by spraying the cleaning detergent onto a damp clean cloth and wiping all the surfaces with the cloth. You want to avoid spraying any cleaning products directly onto your coffee equipment as this may contaminate any surfaces that comes into contact with the coffee. If you're spraying detergent onto the buttons, just be aware that sometimes that product can get in behind the buttons on the panel and cause them to stick, which means that they need to be replaced. For the rest of the panels, simply use some paper towel, a drop of hot water and a bit of elbow grease. This will take away any little fingerprints, watermarks and small stains. Don't forget the grinder. Switch the grinder off and remove the beans hopper and empty the beans into an airtight container. Clean the inside of the hopper using a clean dry cloth or a small bit of paper towel just to wipe it down and this will remove any residual oils and fines that will accumulate inside this container. Clean the inside of the dosing chute of any fines and oils using your small paintbrush or again a dry piece of paper towel. As with the espresso machine, Sanitize any touchable surfaces on the grinder by spraying the cleaning detergent onto a damp clean cloth and wiping it down rather than spraying the grinder directly. So that's it for all your basic coffee station cleaning needs. To help you and your team keep up this clean routine, we've created some handy cleaning checklists to go along with the training videos. You'll find more information about these in the link below. I hope you've enjoyed this training video, but most importantly, I hope you now enjoy your clean, sparkly coffee machine. Thank you for watching.